Once again, just to reassure you, there are no spoilers in this review. I saw the movie Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Black Panther Wakanda Forever released in theaters on November 11, 2022. The movie is written by Ryan Coogler and Joe Robert Cole, directed by Ryan Coogler. The movie stars Letitia Wright, Lupita Nyong'o, Danai Guerrera, Winston Duke, Angela Bassett, Tenoch Huerta, and Dominic Thorne. My rating for Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a 4 out of 5, and here's why. The story sees the world's nations in search for the resource Vibranium, which the only known source of Vibranium is in Wakanda. When a U.S. research team discovered Vibranium in the bottom of the ocean, mysterious beings appeared and ended up eliminating them all. The heads of state would blame Wakanda for this incident, as they are the only known source of vibranium, thinking that they are trying to protect what they have. But they know, and we know, it was not them. Shuri and Okoye would investigate further to discover these mysterious beings and the world that they live in underwater. I have to say, that synopsis I gave, I really try to kind of steer away from spoilers because I feel in the beginning of this movie there is a pretty big spoiler, which you could probably guess what it is, which they did kind of reveal it in their trailers. The movie is great. Of the three MCU movies released this year, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, and now with this, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is the better of the three. But I still find some issues with this movie. The story kind of follows like what they did with Thor and Doctor Strange. There's a lot more added to the story where it becomes convoluted. They added a certain character in this movie from the TV series and they appeared in another movie. But yeah, I feel that the abundance of characters and this one certain storyline in Wakanda Forever made it for it to become convoluted. But it all resolves itself well in the end, except for that one story arc. The acting from everyone is superb in this. The action sequences were fun to watch, although I feel that is more of the same comic book style live action action sequences and the uh, visual effects, the CGI in this movie, I find it to be better than the first movie. Overall, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is great. A great way to end Phase 4. That is my review of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Please check out more of my variety of videos on the Spellgo channel. And as always, thank you for watching.